So what I'm getting at here is what I did with this patient was assess what was not working well enough in order to let the meniscus tear occur in the first place. So if I can reverse engineer what happened, then I can probably, am I going to get the meniscus to heal? No. Do I care? No. Am I ever going to think about that? No. All I care about is what can't she do when she comes in and make sure she can do that when she leaves, which she could. She could single leg squat. She could double leg squat. She could lunge walk with a twist. She could cr uh, cur curtsy walk uh, sideways all symptom free. When she came in, she couldn't do a single leg squat and she couldn't double leg squat past parallel without symptoms. So what that tells me is that I got to what is letting the meniscus have too much pressure on it that is irritating it. So what I told her is our job, my job and your job is to unload this meniscus. The way we do that is we get the muscles that are supposed to be stabilizing the knee to stabilize the knee. Once they do that, you'll still have a meniscus tear, 